still breastfeeding your daughter? She'll be breastfeeding until she's 18. Breastfeeding at this age? Haven't you got something better to do? What? Still breastfeeding? It's going to traumatize your child. These are just some of the comments that I heard on my four-year breastfeeding journey. Breastfeeding beyond infancy and in public is seen as something rather shocking to people and even sexual because breasts have been made as sexual objects in our culture. And uh, when you breastfeed in public, it should be something that you're ashamed of. You should run to the toilet and hide. So let me talk about why I'm breastfeeding our four-year-old daughter and why I do it in public too and why I believe that breastfeeding beyond infancy is the norm rather than the exception to the norm. Ready? Let's go. Hey, it's Julia here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Lifestyle Coach at Brossom Healthy. So yes, our daughter is four years old and I wanted to talk about why I am still breastfeeding our four-year-old child. And when I say still, I don't really mean it because breastfeeding beyond infancy is absolutely natural and something that's been done for a long time. So let me give you some interesting facts about long-term breastfeeding. Despite what people and strangely enough, some doctors will tell you that there is no nutritional benefit to breastfeeding past the first six months, there is actually a great amount of nutrition in your milk. There was a study that was done on 250 toddlers in Western Kenya, and they discovered that breast milk provided on average 32% of the child's total energy intake. So breast milk made an important contribution to the fat and vitamin A intakes of toddlers in this community. And in the second year, that is one to two, the children, toddlers between one to two years old, 448 milligrams of breast milk provides 29% of energy requirements, 43% of protein requirements, 36% of calcium requirements, 75% of vitamin A requirements, 76% of folate requirements, 94% of vitamin B requirements and 60% of vitamin C requirements. In the study with these toddlers in Kenya, when solid food intake increased after weaning, they didn't actually get enough fats and they didn't get enough vitamin A without breast milk, okay? So some people will even tell you that breastfeeding for a long time will interfere with your child's appetite. There is absolutely no scientific evidence for it at all. And it's not something that I've experienced either. Our daughter has a great appetite and uh, she's breastfeeding too. So she will happily have her breast milk when she wants it and she will happily eat food and a lot of food. Another thing as well is that toddlers who were breastfed for longest and this is again studies and research and you will find it all in the description section of this video if you want to you know study some of the references so research shows that kids who have been breastfed for longest had the highest levels of iq not only does breastfeeding makes your child healthier it also makes it smarter and let's not forget about emotional development. And this is something that we lack in our world greatly. So when you practice long-term breastfeeding, when you practice attachment parenting as well, your child grows as a very secure and confident being. It's comforting, your milk is warm. It's actually been proven to reduce stress levels in children as well. It helps them ground in this reality of security so they know that milk is there for them that that nourishment is there for them and that important vital connection is there for them as well and it's not to say that as soon as they turn one or two that you should just stop and they've received enough of it because again studies prove over and over again that the longer you breastfeed your kids the better it is for them now, another scientific research shows that two and a half to seven years of nursing is what our children have been designed to expect, okay? And what do they get? They're lucky to get six months. That's already long in our society. So why is it that I'm breastfeeding our child? 
Well, because I want to help her grow as a healthy child, I'm burdened by many health issues children suffer from in our modern world. Because I want her to develop to her highest potential intellectually. I want her to grow as an emotionally balanced being. And to be honest, this is simply what my heart tells me to do. And the amount of women I talk to who say, you know, I really feel like I want to breastfeed, but she's two years old. It's, you know, I've already been breastfeeding him for too long. No, trust your heart when it comes to your kids. So why is it that I breastfeed in public too? Because I believe that breastfeeding is normal. No, I'm not going to hide in a toilet with my crying child. Okay, now she understands. If I tell her not here, you know, let's just wait a little bit. She understands. But when she was little, I couldn't tell her that. So in no way I would run across the shopping center or the airport to find a room where I could hide and breastfeed with my crying child. It's absolutely not normal. And the more of us breastfeed in public, the more normal it will become. Because why is it that adults can eat their food in public, but babies cannot? Is it just because our breasts have been made as sexual objects? Is that all there is to it? Well, naturally, they have been created to breastfeed children. And here is a message to all mamas out there. Whether you are breastfeeding, whether you, you are a mom-to-be, you're planning to have a child, or whether you've already breastfed your kids, you are the center of the universe for your child. The quality of your milk plays a crucial role. It's not just breastfeeding that's important. It's the nutrients that are in your breast milk that are important as well. And by the way, when women eat standard Western diet and they breastfeed at the same time, studies show that their breast milk will contain a lot of harmful toxins that will then go to their child. So it's vital for you to cleanse your body and to feed your body with proper nutrition so that you are able to produce enough milk, to, to have very healthy milk for your child and you are able to stay healthy long term. And even if you're not breastfeeding, your kids need you. For that, you need healthy nutrition. So if you want to learn more about it and more about how to implement a healthy plant-based diet into your life so that you're able to lose weight, you're able to restore your body and you're able to cleanse it naturally, then join me on my free online masterclass where I will walk you through the five steps our clients use to lose up to 50 pounds of excess weight and reverse their chronic health challenges naturally. You'll see the link on the screen and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments about breastfeeding, then feel free to pop them in the comments section. Remember to like this video and feel free to share it with as many people as possible so we make breastfeeding as the norm in our society and we see the rise of healthy, intelligent and emotionally advanced kids. Eat sweet, keep fit, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and I will see you again very soon. Ciao for now!